All right, folks, welcome me to do my quick cooking show tonight. I'm a one-man production crew, one-man film crew, goddamn head cook, sous chef, a motherfucking dishwasher, and everything else. And I wasn't going to cuss, but uh, I've been drinking for a while. And Filipinas, you know what, sometimes I just want to cook. I told them Filipinas, go in there, take care of the babies. I'm going to come here and I'm going to cook some damn dinner. So let me show you what I got going on over here, my friends. Thanks for joining me. If you're not a subscriber, bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that sign. Boom! Get on my fucking... Damn, I wasn't going to cuss again. Get on my train. Let me show you what I got going on for dinner over here, my friends. All right, first of all, I got uh, potatoes. Uh, regular potatoes and I had a couple sweet potatoes. I said, you know what? Ain't no time like the present. I threw them bitches in there So I got this boiling because I'm gonna make a potato soup for my babies They love to eat potato broccoli soup from a uh, sitting bowl restaurant So I got a little broccoli to go in there for a little flavor and what we're gonna do is put some uh, some of this uh, cream butter and a little bit of this quick melt It's kind of like Belvita cheese in there and I'm gonna make them a a nice potato soup so that's what uh, that's what they're gonna have going down now for me and the ladies folks I've sent Fatima to fresh options today to get a kilo of ground pork so this is ground pork right here and I've got it marinated with a little Worcestershire sauce I got some pepper on it and let's see, what else did I put on that? I think that's pretty much it. Worcestershire and pepper. And over here in this dog bowl, I've got onions and garlic with a little Worcestershire. And I'm going to need to put a little pepper on there too. And so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to brown this up. And then I'm going to add in my vegetables and uh, basically make a uh, shit. I'm going to make some deliciousness. And like I said, I'm drinking. I got a Sam McLight going on here and my Yeti Colster. If you ain't got one of these, you better pick one up because that's what will keep your beer cold, my friends, when you're cooking. Now, a good acquisition today. I told Fatima to get me a small bottle of olive oil, and she came back with a tall bottle. I said, you know what? Life is good. I'm going to throw a little, bit of that, a little bit of that on the meat. And also picked up some new some uh some butter now if i can mind today cook some damn noodles in my wok now i straighten it out well the ladies have screwed it up now when i when i let the ladies start cooking in this wok it looked like this and now it looks like this but today it had little noodles down in the bottom from where she cooked a noodle dish and of course she got no idea how to get off there I said you know what and that's really what pissed me off when I opened up this wok and there were like 20 little noodles I said you know what just let me handle dinner tonight dear because I will show you how to get that out of there so I had to boil I had to boil the, the wok for like 5-10 minutes and scrape out all the noodles this crap whatever the hell they've done to it it ain't coming out and I'm gonna give this thing a nice going away party funeral because when I get this new uh, cookware in from Lazada we're gonna give this thing a proper burial because it's it's been a champion but it's seen its better days so look like I got the I got the potatoes over here boiling and folks I'm gonna tell you all right I never figured out why we spend so much time in life peeling potatoes I didn't peel these potatoes I cut the some bitches up I threw them in there you can eat the, the peel of the potato. It's delicious. When I eat a baked potato, the cheese, sour cream, Worcestershire sauce, bacon bits, all that, I eat the whole damn thing. I said, I'm not going to spend 30 minutes peeling that deliciousness off of there. So those five regular potatoes and those two sweet potatoes, I just chopped them up. They're in there. And yeah, I got too much water in here. I got, I got too much water in there, but I said, you know what, it'll boil off. Because I don't, I don't need that much water for the, uh, the soup. But, you know, when you get to drinking and cooking, sometimes shit happens. So I just lift the roof, the roof off of that and just let that thing boil. 
and I got this can right here and if you saw my previous video when I made that homemade charcoal chimney it's got a flaw to it but the old lady wanted to make some I guess that's what she made today they they take noodles they'll make like uh, elbow macaroni noodles and they'll mix it in and make like a macaroni salad and I think that's what she made today but I said hey don't throw that can out because I'm gonna improve that charcoal chimney and try to get that thing to working even though I have ordered a proper charcoal chimney my friends it is on the way to the to the hacienda to the Alamo here and I'm real excited about that um, like I said I knew we had to replace this my beloved walk there, there was no doubt that this thing's about to go down temperature regulator has been screwed up for months so I got some high quality made in the USA cookware and bound and once that gets here I'm gonna do all the cooking I think that's gonna work out best and I got that charcoal chimney I'll show them how to use it they can get the grill going but I will do the cooking from now on my friends that's just the way it's gonna be so I'm over here watching a little hee-haw again same episode with George Strait. I'll put the link down in the description so you can enjoy it too. But I'm gonna let this, uh, I gotta wait for my potato soup to get almost ready. Um, because what I'm gonna do is just finish, mix that up, let it sit, and then I'll just go ahead and brown this up. Folks, you wanna see some deliciousness. I don't know what the hell's going on out there. Got some action going on or something happening. I don't know. Uh, I was gonna make some new biscuits, but we'll save that for tomorrow. So I've just been drinking too much. All right, let me just say a few words. I've had this thing for years, a wok, an electric wok, and the rice cooker, I don't know how long it's been with us, but folks, we literally cook historically for past, for a long time. We cook everything in these two pieces of equipment. Now, when we were over in Angeles City, while well, the ladies have taken it, we, we did uh, purchase that electric grill, that little griddle, whatever, because we're in a, in a condo, we couldn't put charcoal on the balcony, so we bought that electric grill where we could basically barbecue on the balcony. But this has been our two primary cookers. Now we got that charcoal grill outside. As long as we're at this house, we'll use that charcoal. But you know, you move back to a condo, where uh, you know you can't use charcoal then you got to go back to electric and you know these two things have worked out real well for us making most of our meals and we eat like kings every night and I guess my point is you don't have to have a thirty thousand dollar you know remodel kitchen to make good food the main thing is good ingredients and somebody who knows how to put them together. That's my point of this little speech. All right, them taters are rocking on. I'm ready to get on with it, my friends. I'm ready to get on with it. I'm not gonna take that thing all the way up. I'm just gonna turn it on a little bit. Like I said, this thing, the temperature regulator's fried. So when that little puddle of water evaporates, I know it's getting hot. And I'm gonna hit it with a little olive oil and it'll go straight in, go straight in with the pork. <clears throat> and again, I'm a one man film crew tonight. So I might not get all the action. All right, so I kicked that regulator up a little bit. Now it's, now it's going. It's probably wide ass open, whatever. So you just gotta deal with it. I'll come over here and get this uh, little olive oil in there. Wait a minute, so much had a lid in it. I don't know what happened to it. It had a, uh, had like a thing sticking out of it. Maybe it's down in there. I don't know. Get a little olive oil. Push it around. Oh yeah, it's hot. Fuck it, let's do it. Here we go. Look at that. Slide it right off in there. You saw me mess around with it. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more olive oil because that taste coming off of that right now, 
I don't know my taste, the flavor. And that's some cheap Worcestershire sauce. But I'm gonna tell you what, the, the, the smell coming off of that says that we are on to something. It says, hey man, double down on it. That's what it says. And then we're coming straight in here with the onions, garlic, got a little paprika, put a little olive oil, and a little Worcestershire sauce on that right there. So when it's time for them to shine, it's time to roll, my friends. Make sure my all my meat is well done. And no damn mad cow disease. No African swine, no shit like that. I put my meat in first, get it going, where I know it's gonna come out well done. And I think that's uh, been there long enough now. And I'm gonna hit it with the onions. All right, so I pulled out a piece of tater out of that thing. I don't know how long we've been in there, but it's almost done. It needs about another five, 10 minutes. And you can see this right here is browning up nicely. It's about 10 minutes. 10 minutes before everything starts to come together. Folks, I'm rocking it out. This is goddamn George Jones from a concert back in 1970-something or early 80s. I was watching Hee Haw and then it switched over to uh, George Jones. I miss that motherfucker, my friends. I've seen him in concert so many times. One of the best concerts I ever saw in my life. I saw George Jones and Mama's Country Showcase, or if it was called Cowboys, then fuck, I can't remember when it switched names, but Kennesaw, Georgia. Goddamn George Jones rocked the house. I think it was, wasn't Mama's Country, it was called what was it for? Crystal Chandelier. Shit, I'm fucked up. It was either the Crystal Chandelier or it changed over to Cowboys. Kennesaw, Georgia. If you were there at that George Jones concert, God damn, he rocked the house. That's about 1995. 94, 95. Here's the good thing about having this electric watch. Say you got a, you got a backstop over there, right? I can do a one-handed operation here. Most people that don't matter, but if you got a pan sliding around, see how this slides around, but if you push it up against that wall, shit, I can sit here and flip this meat all day long, one-handed and run the camera. Let that shit go. And I brought another, I brought a uh, piece of sweet potato out here just to check consistency. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, that's a big piece too. I think what I'm gonna do on this guy, best way to turn out a rice cooker. If you never fuck with a rice cooker, it's only got two settings, warm and cook. So you just damn unplug that joker. I wanna unplug it, let the thing naturally cool down. Oh shit, I almost forgot the broccoli, my friends. Holy shit. I gotta get that broccoli in there. Sorry, I'm probably steaming the lens. Got broccoli over in there. Get in there. Oh, okay. A little bit more. And shit, where's the light? Oh, there we go. There's a light right there. I'm shooting on this old Sony camcorder I've had for years, which is literally the best all around camera that I have. The DJI Osmo Pocket is wonderful for stabilization, clarity, 4K, 60 frames per second. Audio sucks. Unless I'm holding that son of a bitch six inches from my, my mouth and then you can't hear anybody else, their conversation. So it is definitely a one-man camera. It's a, it's a, it's just for you, just for me. If I'm doing walking tours, it's perfect. Anything else, it's horrible. This son bitch here got a light. It's got a badass microphone. The battery lasts forever. I got a memory card in this son bitch, but it it's got 32 gigabytes of onboard memory. I mean, look at this light. I'm gonna fucking walk out here in the pitch, goddamn darkness, and look at this. You can't do this with an iPhone or a DJI Osmo Pocket or a fucking GoPro. But guess what you can do? 
with this old ass Sony camcorder, I can take you in pitch blackness, hit that little button, and this son of a bitch is great. The main thing is the audio. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Whoops, some still wants to go. There we go, now it's off. Anyhow, shout out to Sony for my old camcorder. Alright, folks, got wipe from one back on the camera now. I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna change it up. What I'm gonna do. Shit, that's too high. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, my friends, is uh, I'm gonna mix this stuff together. I'm gonna take these taters and I'm gonna mix them in with the, with the pork and the onions, and it's gonna be god darn absolutely delicious. I'll put that right there. Wire number one wants to taste test that after she gets off the camera. Oh shit, it's hot. I don't have a damn strainer. So what I'm going to use is a dog bowl. This flavor combination coming in here. I just had to do it. I had to change it up. So I didn't make them biscuits. I was actually going to make some meat pies. I was going to make the meat pies. And let me hit the heat to this and just evaporate some of this water off. But folks, what turned out it was gonna be meat pies slash potato soup. This stuff is so delicious, it had to go together. And we can call this gumbo, goulash, whatever. It don't matter what you wanna call it. Once that, once that there settles down, it's gonna be delicious tonight, my friends. Okay, now I've got the crew here. I'm gonna do a taste test on this. Is it cool enough? You taste it before you give it to Forrest G. Check it out. How does it taste? Good and delicious. What about Forrest G? He... Baby, that's Forrest G's plate. You just had a big scoop of his food. What do you think, sweetie? Papa do better tonight? Last night, Papa did no good, but what about tonight? Papa do okay tonight? Forrest G? Forrest G has the food tonight. Much better? Mmm. Okay, he looks much better. I want to thank everybody for joining us on my little cooking show. Hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you're at in the world, my friends. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out.